Hey everybody, Fancy Sloth Nick here, and this is part 9 of Fallout, A Tale of Two Wastelands. Uh, and look at that, the bobbleheads, all nice and placed, only missing those four, and it looks a little bit like a lightning bolt pattern we're missing. Anyway, um, wanted to talk to you guys about a little thing, uh, the next, look, basically I'm gonna have to reduce the to amount of... Uh, the amount of episodes that I do in a week uh, from the two, because the weekend is, it, there's not enough time. Uh, there's just not, and also, I'm gonna be starting up, uh, college again, and I'm moving, and we're doing VidCon this year. Uh, so, oh, by the way, we'll be wearing, like, fancy sauce shirts one of the days. If you see us, go ahead and, like, say hi. Um, but we'll be doing VidCon and everything, and it'll just be too much to do, uh, two videos a week so i'm gonna put a straw poll in the description uh go ahead and vote in that and say which day of the week you want the video to be on uh we're gonna have to reduce to one for a while i might go back to two after a bit but uh for the next few months maybe uh two or so it's gonna have to be one video uh, nothing I can do about that, sorry. Uh, so, we're gonna be doing the pit today, but first we have, of course, a little oh, bit of, we have a little bit of, not actually housekeeping, that's what I just did. We need to get some weapon mods. Uh, we won't be able to use our weapons right away in the pit, but I want to be prepared to. So, yeah, we, the, be prepared for entirely skipping out on a montage of buying and selling from merchants, and I'll come back when I have the mods I need. You know, there's one thing I dislike about uh, this Chinese stealth suit. It gets rid of your hat all the time. I'm wearing my regulator hat, but it doesn't look like I am. And I can't be a cowber, a cowber punk. Yeah, a cowber punk ninja if I don't have my hat. It's, uh, it's stupid. It is stupid, and I hate it. Just like I hated your mysteriously now dead face. In base Fallout 3, Flak actually does sell mini nukes. So if you're running out of them, you can always uh, you can always get more from Flak. <sighs> and will Rivet City security learn to just stay dead? Okay, so uh, we're not gonna be doing the quest there, but as you can see, Canterbury Commons is off in the distance. It's right by the Temple of the Union. We're gonna be stopping in there to make the caravans better so that they have more of a chance of having what I need. At least I thought this was Canterbury Commons. I'm pretty sure it is. This looks like it. I was seeing. Let's hope they focus on the cows. I don't have anything that could really sneak attack them. Oh, wait. What am I saying? Of course I have something that could sneak attack. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at stealth. Uh, and for those of you who play the game, you'll know that uh, the, going to Canterbury Commons involves a uh, superhero fight. If you want to watch that, go ahead. It involves robots and a supervillain and a superhero. Don't mind me. Just a regular old citizen. Well, that's stupid. Well, I chased them both off, at least. I meant to do a cool scene where I was like, aha, uh -huh, I won the superhero fight, but they, I couldn't injure either of them, which was stupid. Anyway, if you ask Ro about how organized the traitors are, you could try to get them into a unified group, and then you can invest in them. Okay, so, I finally, God, finally, it's been a very long time, got all of the parts for the victory rifles, uh, mods, uh, just using it instead of the marksman carbine. All right, let's go talk to Werner. So right now I'm using the uh, victory rifle. Now, oh, I can show you its advantage right now. So normally he'd run right for me because I didn't kill him and I don't have armor piercing, so there was no way I was. Uh, but because I have the victory rifle, I knock down whatever I critical hit. So even if I don't kill something, I at least knock it down, which is awesome. Oh cool, I found a chem dealer out here in the middle of nowhere. Hey cool, I found a dead guy with a bunch of chems out here. You guys all have the same outfit. I don't like that. There we go. Now there's only one of you with that outfit. Okay, I'll be entirely honest. You were just closest to me, so you didn't get shot. Good, good job being closest to me. Uh, I should probably get rid of my rads before I go, because if I remember correctly, uh, Werner's kind of a dick about not telling you that all of your items are gonna get taken until you actually get there, so. Oh, I remember this. It's really annoying to actually get to him. I don't exactly remember where you have you can get to him, but I know it's annoying. How did you lose against mole rats with a hunting rifle? You're a pathetic waste of a wastelander. How did you live this long? You lived into adulthood and you lost to three mole rats with a hunting rifle. Oh, hey, I have my cowboy hat back. Yay, I'm like kyberpunk ninja again. Or is it? Cowberpunk. Kyberpunk? 
Cowberpunk. Cowberpunk sounds more cowboy and less cyber. Although I feel like I'm more cyber and less cowboy. I don't know. Dead end. That's a new one. Well, that's depressing. I found this guy with a note that said dead end, and apparently he was tracking a guy. Never found him. The dude killed his family in front of him. I, cheese, that's depressing. I bet even my evil character would be all like, oh, dude, that's, that's harsh. Well, look, I'd chase him down, but I'm busy trying to do the pit, so, uh, you know. I'm sure justice will wait for you. It, it, well, he's dead already, so. Not the guy he's chasing, he is. He's dead. Uh, he was correct in presuming that he would screw up even killing himself. Oh, where are you, Werner? Bethesda likes doing this. Bethesda likes designing an environment that it doesn't seem obvious which way you should go. Like, oh, this path leads in the right direction. No, it actually, like, loops around and then hits a dead end or several dead ends. Oh, Bethesda. I still love them. They still make great games. I'm not... <laughs> In no way am I saying that this, the game is not worth playing. It's of course it's worth playing. It's always worth playing. For you could give me a million dead ends, and I'd still love Fallout and the Elder Scrolls. By the way, this was another dead end. They're really testing that thousand dead end uh, thing. Like, look at that. That looks like it goes the right way, and then it might have a gap. Okay, if I remember correctly, that's some slavers trying to find Werner. I don't remember. He's immortal, so it doesn't matter if he wins or loses this fight. But I'll help him out anyway. Free your people, you say. That sounds suspiciously like not slavery. I can't stand for that. Ooh, campfire. Ooh, healing powder. Not gonna make it. Okay, so Werner has informed me that his people are are being uh, held slave, erred, and that I should free them. I I don't want to free them. I want to become king of the pit. I I demand a kingship for this. My reward shall be a throne. Um. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's over to the west. You know what? I'm gonna break my rule because I don't know the pit that well. Oh, hey, a scavenger, I think. Oh, this is the... I helped I helped her survive the wasteland. Although, that's not right. She's supposed to be... That, that was supposed to be in, like, an actual tough fight. But you were supposed to win, of course. I'm disappointed. I did all that work for the book, and she's only surviving on two meals a day. Okay, so danger... Danger is misleading. Danger when it's flashing means they know where you are. Danger when it's red means they know you're there, but they don't know where you are. And caution means they think somebody is there, but they're not sure if there is somebody or where they are. That is that is how that works, and that's why it's a stupid system. <laughs> ah, and look, some slavers and some slaves. Let's just talk to the slaver here, because we got some cred with the slavers. You don't belong here. Piss off. All right, where's the guy in charge? Do you guys not have a leader? I could be your leader. I'm a slaver. Ah, Ramsey, you're the leader. I might kill all your men because they disrespected me, though. You are all my slaves now. But no, I, I want, I want them. They, I bought them. They're mine. Give me. I wanna, I wanna use them to construct a wasteland fortress for a god. Ah, fine, whatever. And uh, hey, Ramsey. Might want to look into getting new guys, because all of yours are dead. Because they're jerks. I might be totally fine with slavery, but I'm not fine with disrespect. I taught your men a lesson. Hopefully I don't have to teach you one. Okay. Let's go to the pit. Ah, oh, there you are. How'd you beat me in here, Werner? Alright, guys. So this is it. We're going to the pit. We're gonna go... I want to take over the place. That's my goal. I'm gonna take it over. Alright, let's go. Well, I'll let you do the talking, but I'm gonna do the killing. Where come more of them? You're, I think you're lying to me. We're in a, oh, never mind. You weren't lying. I apologize for thinking you're a liar. I wonder, if I dress in raider stuff, does that work? I'm gonna try it my way. I mean, I don't think it's gonna work, but... not gonna dress up like a raider yet, but I think that's my best option. Because I don't want to lose all my stuff. I highly doubt it works, but I want to try it anyway. Okay, never mind. After doing a little research, it seems that I will lose my items. Like, without... without doubt I have no way of keeping them uh, without abusing exploits but eh screw it I'll do it the way the game wanted me to hello wild man who actually happens to be a woman that's probably sexist I guess here we are in the bridge do not 
jump off of the bridge. Uh, if you do, you will die almost immediately by radiation. There is, it, it's so much. It is hundreds percent, it's worse than Vault 84, if I remember correct. Uh, because one time I turned on God Mode and just sort of, you know, tried to get across that way. It's, it's really, really bad, so don't do it. That is the officially sanctioned view of me on that. There, okay, he hasn't spawned yet. There's a sniper up there, be careful. Mine, 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 mine. That radiation, by the way, is supposed to encourage you not to sneak past there, but me. Mine, mine, mine. Oh, I don't know where that was. Ah, there he is. Gotcha. They've really mined up this bridge. They do not want people escaping. Mine, mine. All right, doesn't matter if you uh, disarm the mines or not, they die by scripted explosions. So, mine, mine. And there's the scripted explosion. They have like one health, I think. You can't actually do anything. I'm gonna do this right the right way. I'm gonna dress as a slave. I'm gonna hate it. It's stupid, but I'm gonna give up my victory rifle and everything. All right. I'm sorry for trying to escape. He's gonna open the gate so I can get in and chastise me like, oh, you couldn't get past the mines, could you? How'd you get all this stuff anyway? Derp, 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 derp. I'm Max. I'm a jerk. Yes, sir, douchebag. The mean boss took all the dumbass slaves' goodies. Is I'm gonna cry to Asher. You're a jerk. And here's the pit. Place full of slavers and slavery. Jeez. Alright, do they have anything? Uh, should have talked to Werner and actually got something to uh, make sure that I didn't get screwed over. Didn't, though. So... Hey, you have... Oh, you have a name. Oh. Wink. Wait, where'd you get a syringe? Oh, am I gonna get tetanus? Oh, cool. Well, I have a doctor. A slave doctor. Pit slave. I actually want to kill one of these guys for their auto axe right away, because... Okay. Oh. Alright. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I know you understand. I'm I'm in the trade myself. Uh, you, gotta, you gotta keep them working. I, uh... Didn't give me the tools though, so I'm just gonna go to like the slave shack or whatever and get them. <laughs> yeah, and then murder you all. Oh, there you are. Wait, you have a house? Why do you have a house? I just realized nothing in this DLC makes sense. Hi there, you have a name too. Yeah, okay, well, I got some slop. It gives me food, but it doesn't give me water. That's bad. Water is going to be an issue in this DLC, I can tell already. Yeah, just. Just another scab. Oh yes, yeah, a rolling pin. That's a weapon. You fools, you have left a weapon inside of a mailbox. I will conquer your pathetic world with it. I'm gonna move up in the slave game by knocking out another slave and stealing their auto axe. Don't mind me. Wits. With a rolling pin, it's fine. How much health do you have anyway? More than I can hit with a single hit. Don't look at me. Stop looking. How about you? What do you got? Eh. Stop looking at me. What's wrong with you? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I, did, I didn't mean to hit you. I did. I did mean to hit you. I expected it to kill you. I will be honest. I expected more death to happen than happened. Okay, so I apparently I need to move up a little bit more in the world before I could start trying to beat people to death with a rolling pin. Um, you know, I'm like bottom level slave. I need to be slave and a half to kill people with one hit. Oh, wait a second. Here's a dead slave. Oh, he just had an outfit. Can repair mine, though, so, you know, at least I'll be the best outfitted slave, and yeah, I should talk to Medea. I should stop, I should stop messing around and actually talk to her. Don't mind me, I'm just stealing everything. So I have a job now. So I am moving up. I, I was a, a jobless slave, and now I'm a, a slave with a job. Actually, that slop's not bad, as far as food sources go. Oh, hey, Millie. Who's Wild Bill? Oh, I'll help, I'll help you find Bill. Don't worry. This place has a, like, filter over it that makes it all dark and glowy. Which I know seem counter counterdicting, but they're not. Don't worry. It's fine. Don't mind me, random people. I just need to find a named one of you. Named, named slaves are always useful. Not named. They give me a reloading. Okay. I wonder what they did with the uh, ammo press, because... It, if it just exchanges ammo directly, that's weird. Don't mind me. Just sla doing slave stuff. Do 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 do. Slavey, slavey, slave. Oh, hey! You look like you're in pain, buddy. I helped you. You can get back to work now. 
I need this place in tip-top condition when I take over. And now we have a very decent melee weapon. The auto axe, which is ridiculous in comparison. But now I've moved up in the world. I'm a slave with an auto axe, which means I can kill other slaves indiscriminately. Oh, it doesn't have a... It doesn't have an... Oh! Guys, guys, I broke my auto axe. I, I really broke my auto axe. I don't... Can I... Give me back my blades. There we go. I fixed it, everybody. It's fixed. Don't worry. Whoa! Awesome! I'm gonna need that auto axe. Sorry, nothing personal. Tattered slave out. Oh, I can I can move up to a worn slave outfit. Oh, lucky day. I'm moving up in the slave world. I haven't even I haven't gone outside yet. I've literally done nothing. None of you have auto axes. How am I supposed to steal your auto axes if you don't have them? Ah, oh, you're the guy I'm supposed to talk to, right? See, Everett likes me. He's all like, oh, you're you're happy about the job you got. That's right, sir. I want to move up. Gnome. Nothing, nothing personal. I just need to steal your gnome. It's actually just sort of what I do. I steal gnomes. Ooh, a knife. I mean, obviously not even worth using when compared to the auto axe. Which, despite being a chainsaw, like all melee weapons, I'm pretty sure it's silent. Okay, so, uh, I think next episode I'm going to do a full, like, gathering all hundred ingots thing. Uh, but right now I'm just gonna gather the first ten. So, yay! One, two... Yeah, Billy, it's John John! Yeah, talk to each other! Aw, oh, look, they're friends! Yay, isn't that a happy story that I'm not going to ruin by watching what happens next? Don't know what you're talking about, viewer. I didn't see anything. If I didn't see it, it didn't happen. Huh? Oh, we're close. There's the couch. Uh, make that jump. And then... Oh, I'll put this away when I'm not. Three, four. You want to be able to get to all the dumpsters because there's ingots in all of them. And then we want to get across to that one. Five, six... No seven eight. But there is seven eight nine. Seven eight nine. The stairs and should be by the broken fence. I don't know where though. Go right, then turn left. Ah, here they are. Uh ten and eleven, cause that's I'm not gonna not grab all the things. Uh so we gain. Uh, more damage with the auto axe. Not that we needed it. It already does a ton of damage and ignores DT. Uh, yeah, like I said, we'll do we'll do the other not 89 uh, next episode. I just want to start moving through the story as of now. Oh, I've been seen by something. Where is it? Uh-huh, you can't get out. Oh, I don't have... I have five bobby pins. Let's not break them. Wow, these trogs go down easy. Oh my god, he had turbo on him. That trog had turbo. How does a trog get turbo? Yeah, these these trogs are... The brutes are supposed to be the bad ones, and they're not a problem. And they have chems on them. So, you know, it's like a win-win. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna grab these, since you can only get them on the way back anyway. Are they? Ah, there they are. Uh, 12... 13, 14. You can only get those uh, on the way back. You can't get them on the way out because the trog breaks through the uh, barrier. And I figured I'd grab them while I was here anyway. Uh, and you can go back out. I'm not going to. He, of course, gives you the laborer outfit, which is even better. I'm really moving up the uh, the food chain now. Mind me, just regular dude. Definitely not a plant in here. Yep, yep, yep. Don't mind me. Definitely not going to try to kill everyone. Oh, hey guys, I only have to kill 200 more people to get uh, Lord Death of Murder Mountain. Oops, sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to... I mean, I did. I... Whoops, nobody saw that, right? Hello there. Now I'm a very well-armed slave. Oh no, raiders, look, the slavers killed... Uh, the slaves killed the, one of the guys, the master of the slaves. Ah, uh, you guys should take care of that or something. Haha, <laughs> foolish raiders, I killed him. Oh, by the way, when you're using something like the auto axe, the best way to do it is um, to use vats. Uh, because vats will make sure that it doesn't count the attacks as like one every X seconds or something. It'll just do like a series of attacks and do it. It's mostly so that you can kill 
the raiders in one hit. Don't don't mind me, everybody. I'm just just a guy. Just just a guy. I mean, really, when you think about it, I'm putting them out of their misery, not killing them senselessly. Hey, I need your welder's mask because mine isn't doing so well, and probably yours just because you know I like I want I want a whole set really. Um, oh, whoops! Slavers are watching. Oh no. Guys, look, all the slaves died. They're dying. Oh, no. It's mysterious, isn't it? Oh, I didn't find Wild Bill. I'll, um, I'll get around to that, Millie. Don't worry. Oh, oh I can't. Um, age. Well, she's gonna have to sit through this then. Survive. Also, it was entirely glitched the entire time. Like, just so everybody knows, it was, it was really glitched. Um, he was doubling up his speech and... Ugh. By the way, it took me longer to uh, prepare for the pit than it has taken me to do the pit, and I don't even have my stuff yet. <laughs> like, I, I spent more time getting stuff that I'm not even using than I am actually doing this, and I feel very stupid. Oh uh, yeah, I'm the scab who's stupid. Yeah, that's me. Stupid scab. <laughs> I definitely won't now, win or anything. Now she says that um, you're fight like all of the slaves are supposed to be fighting, but that's a lie. They um, you're supposed to be fighting each other, but you're just gonna have to fight three slaves. God, all the dialogue in this is really badly glitched. Um, oh, by the way, if the arena is heavily irradiated, you're probably gonna want to pop that rad X you found. So why do they get guns? I want guns. I'm so sorry, guys. I know you you've been here the entire time and you wanted to move, but. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Better luck next time. And I don't remember if she gets rid of your rads for you. Okay, yeah, she does. I don't even care about who I'm fighting. They're all super easy, especially with the auto axe. I'm, I'm getting rads while I'm waiting for you to open the damn gate. Oh, I broke my axe again. Again, nothing personal, guys. Although, apparently, you guys are actually slavers, so... Nothing personal, guys. I, I'm one of you, in a way. In, in a way. I'm not even sure what that way is anymore. Ooh, gamma shield armor. That seems cool. All right, and let's fight this last fight. This last one can be difficult. I don't remember what he has, but I know that it can be a bad fight. Come on, say stuff. Uh, gonna gonna say something so that... Okay. Well, there's supposed to be an introduction about how he hasn't lost a fight or anything, which is obvious because he's alive. But he has a very good weapon, actually. Uh, and that's the Infiltrator, which is really good. You want it. And you gain some rad resistance and damage thresh. Or really, you get DR for that? Oh, sweet. Now I almost resist like 10% of all damage. All right, I'm going to drop everything that's not useful to me right now, which basically includes everything. Because I'm about to get my stuff back. Container behind you? What could be in here? Oh, it's all of my stuff. Yay. Oh, I miss you, Shish Kebab and Invisibility. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll never leave you again. Until Mothership Zeta, Dead Money, and several others. Oh, speaking of which, don't forget to tell me what DLC to do next. And remember, there's DLC from both games to choose from, so... Or just if you want me to continue either Fallout 3's story or move on to New Vegas' story before we even bother finishing Fallout 3. Uh, I won't do another video till Friday, so, you know, you have time. Oh, I just... I'm so happy to be here, everybody. I just... I thank, really. That's all I have to... I'm just happy I got this thing. This is an awesome weapon because combined with the Chinese stealth suit I'm basically always stealth and can do that all the time by the way I uh, made your life better Ugh. should probably stop killing slaves indiscriminately if I'm gonna take over huh should not going to oh and we leveled up from killing everybody <gasps> supervisor helmet that seems I've never seen that either I want it and a level up, which I expected us to get. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go with sneak and speech because while I usually like to put things up to fives, I don't really see a reason to raise the guns or repair up to 100 just yet. 
I'm sure there's a few more skill books I'll find around the wasteland to get that. So sneak and sign, or seek and speech, that is. And we're gonna go with better criticals because let's be honest, that's 90% of my combat is critical criticals. And now we're in Uptown because we actually have moved well up in the world. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, I think this is where I'm gonna call it an episode. That's fine. We have like 80 ingots together next episode. Uh, and also the rest of the DLC to finish, uh, where we get to decide what to do with the cure, which, if you played this before, you know exactly why that's a hard decision. At least for a good karma character. For me, I don't care if they're slavers or whatever, and whatever. So, yeah, that's, that's gonna be it. Uh, we're still gonna have an episode Friday. Go ahead and vote. The, uh, the straw poll will be down in the description. Uh, just vote on a day. That's fine, and I'll try to get it that day, whoever the winner is, or if the winner is very inconvenient when I figure out what my real schedule is, then the next day that works. Uh, sorry if your day wins and then I have to change. But anyway, this has been Fancy Sloth Nick. This has been part nine of Fallout A Tale of Two Wastelands, and I will take this time to bid you adieu and remind you to stay fancy sloths.